hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's okay hope everyone's having a nice week it is the early hours of a thursday morning i think it's just gone one o'clock martin here hello um so the reason i want to come on here is there's a few things i need to tell you i just need um as you guys know i do suffer with anxiety and i suffer with mental health and um and it's just um on saturday on my night out and i did have quite a bit to drink um it was a good night out with my friends i really enjoyed it um but i just wanted to come on here and share with you guys what happened um at the end of the night my mental health has been um especially my anxiety with different things with changes at work and that within like being trained on other departments and stuff and and just um living with my stepdad you know as you guys know he's he's not in the best of health you know but um he struggles with the walking but there is things that he can do he's a little bit lazy um you know and he's not very clean and tidy you know i'm always forever going over like you know what he messes up and you know but um it's hopefully fingers crossed being sorted um you know and it just it, i don't know it just got to me a bit you know because i'm forever cleaning the house i clean anyway obviously but clean the house and then he's dirting it up again and it's just you know it's just just tiring especially on a wednesday when i come home from a nine hour shift um so there was a lot of things going on in my personal life and work and that um so i did have quite a bit to drink and i ended up having panic attacks which turned into seizures i was shaking i had quite a few seizures which i ended up having to go to hospital um it got really bad i was hallucinating and i felt like i could see my mum and hear her i really hurt myself i've got like um like a scratch all down my arm there i cut on my lip open and my chin i'm a bit better now um i was trying to climb a ladder to get to the sky because i wanted to be with mum i was like mum i'm coming i'm coming for you i know you want me to be with you um, I can see my mum um, and it was really scaring my friends it was really upsetting them to see and um, I just believed my mum was there you know and I thought my mum was calling me and she wanted me up there with her and I I lost consciousness and my friend had to do CPR on me and the paramedics were called out and they they brought me around. I stopped breathing for a couple of seconds. I, I wasn't breathing and then all of a sudden I came round. It, it was really scary. It was very upsetting and very, um, of what I know of it. And I hope you can hear this video okay because um my um microphone on my phone is not brilliant so so I was taken into hospital and I had a few scans and there's no broken bones or anything all my everything is okay and my chest is okay and everything and all my bloods came back clear so that was okay. Um, I've had seizures in the past, they're worse if I drink, you know, um, so I'm going to cut down my drinking, um, yeah, it was just, it was really scary, it was just, you know, I think just everything just got on top, and I've got a sick note from the doctors i've been signed off sick because i've been i've been i've been in tears because i'm like obviously my friend saved my life because he did cpr on me but it's really hurting now i've i couldn't i 
stru struggle to turn in bed. I'm just sitting up and so I'm in a lot of pain. I'm I'm getting better. I'm getting better, but I just really hurt a lot. I just need to rest and um. I wasn't silly, I didn't take any tablets or anything, I wasn't, you know, I didn't do that or anything, I just had a little bit too much to drink and, although it was, it was a good night, um, so there's a thunderstorm now, it's peeing down with rain and now there's thunder, so if you hear that noise in the background, um, we were just talking about, like, how we lost people in our lives and, and as you guys know, I was always close to my mum, extremely close and we lived with each other and I think I never imagined life without my mum I couldn't and it really is hard sometimes trying to adapt to a new life I'm trying to adapt to a life where mum isn't in this life in person and I think it's just come to a point where I've hit a brick wall where it's just, I am being strong, but it's quite tiring sometimes being strong all the time, it is, and I applaud anyone who is out there for their mental health, um, a good friend of mine who I have on YouTube, Emma's Lifestyle, she's always spoke openly about her mental health and, you know, and she's really... To have a friend like her, you know, talk about it, it's amazing, it's just really, um, but, so, I've always struggled with anxiety, and I've always, just little things, just, like, like, with work shifts, you know, I can, I'm okay on my Tuesday and Friday shift, because I do four hours on a Tuesday, and five and a half hours on a Friday, it's fine, and my friends are in on that day. Wednesday, I struggle with the shift, I don't know why, it's quarter past nine in the morning until half five, to anybody, it's like, you know, I don't know, I, I do, it's just my anxiety, and my way of thinking, my mental health, it just, I can, I'm okay with certain shifts, some things I'm not, you know, um, it's just weird, it's, you know, and I can't really explain it, it's very, very hard to explain it. Um, but, you know, yeah, I've, I've always, like I said, struggled with my mental health, and sometimes it's really, I have good and bad days, and I'm okay, I'm really good, you know, making people laugh, and I'm always on here doing my hauls that you enjoy, and other times, it's not so good and I and I do find it hard to be strong all the time and I do struggle with my mental health I really do and I don't really talk about it very much especially on here um and I should really and I just felt like giving up I was just I was really at my lowest I was really at my lowest and I just couldn't see a way forward anymore I just and I had visions in my head of getting so 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 drunk really 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 drunk to the point that I had no control over myself that I just wanted to go to the nearest cliff and just fall off it you know because I just really just didn't want to be here anymore you know found it just Yeah, like I just I couldn't cope with life anymore. I I thought I've tried to be strong and I, but then I started thinking on the positive. I thought, you know, how would you guys feel, you know, if you clicked on one of my YouTube videos and then found out that I wasn't here anymore? And one person that I believe saved my life is meeting Reggie. My friend Jody's little boy, who will be three in December, he's the most gorgeous little boy and he's so funny, he makes me smile and he makes me laugh. And 
I absolutely just adore him and I would just go to the end of the earth for, for that boy honestly I really just adore him so much and I can't wait until he's a certain age until you know he's 16 and I just want to say thank you for being you because you just you kept me carrying on and also my mum's strength she passed her strength on to me but I realised that I had to do something about it I couldn't just be like Oh, I'm okay now, you know, I've I've shed a few tears, I'm okay, I'm okay seeing friends, but I didn't want to come back to this, you know, it's a vicious circle. So, I phoned a few numbers, I got a call back from my doctor, from my surgery, not my actual doctor, but I did get a call back from a doctor, and he gave me a phone number and he gave there's two phone numbers and I don't know the company I don't know um what they're called um but they and basically I'm, I'm rambling now basically I'm gonna get some counseling I'm gonna get some counseling for myself and I've got my first assessment on Thursday morning at half past ten on the phone with the lady and they cover counselling for, they said that they can help me with my anxiety and mental health but we don't do bereavement, we don't do grief, pardon me, sorry. Yeah, um, my left rib is really hurting that's why I can't really move very well and every time I if I laugh or cough or sneeze or whatever or you know it's really painful around here so yeah oh yeah and um, so I wish I knew the company's name but I, d I don't I wasn't told who what they're called but um <laughs> And we're going to discuss whether I will have counselling with a person in person or it'll be over the phone. And there's another, um, there's a grief counselling and it's called Cruise. And I've got a couple of numbers. I did try to phone one today, um, so yesterday. And they kept me on the phone for a really long time. And um, But I will, I will, I won't give up. I will phone and you know because I want they they asked me did you have any grief counseling last year when you lost your mum and I never did I I never had any and I, I know I should have had some you know um so I'm looking into counseling so I'll be having two lots of counseling so I'll be on here and I'll be sharing my counseling sessions and how they go and so I'm having a counselling session for my mental health and anxiety, anxiety, and I'm also having a, um, I'm having counselling for grief as well, which hopefully will help. I'm sure it will, and I'm just, oh, time to clap again. <laughs> and I just feel like a weight's been lifted. I just feel like I'm. I'm finally like I finally done something about it and my friends and family are proud of me and I know my mum would hate seeing me feeling low and depressed and then when I came round again when they lost me when I stopped breathing me and my friend Jodie they we both said that it was my mum saying no go on it was nice seeing you for like a couple of minutes but honestly I'm not ready for you up there yet, you know, when you, you know, be with your friends and, you know. Um, I just feel a bit overwhelmed because I, you know, I'm finally doing something about my mental health and anxiety. And I just want to find ways around how I can better my anxiety and, you know, so I don't let the anxiety get the better of me all the time. And I do want to get some grief counselling. So um, 
I'm finally doing something about it, which, and I know that my mum would be so proud of me and so happy that I'm, I'm doing something about it. So I just wanted to come on here and let you know, guys. And I just want to thank you for all your love and support that you show towards me and my video. And I hope I didn't worry anybody. I really don't want you to worry. Um, I'm picking up now. I'm I'm getting on the mend. I'm okay. It's just that I just I'm just in a bit of pain, you know, with my ribs. I just you know, um, yeah. I'm trying to rest as much as I can, but I'm I'm okay. I'm getting there. And I, like I say, I just wanted to come on here and let you know. Um, yeah. And I just want to thank everyone for your love and support. Thank you so much. And I really do honestly love you. And I do look forward to seeing your messages. It's so nice, honestly. And I love reading them. And as you know, I always read every single one. And I always reply back to every single one as well. So if you want to drop me a message, please please do because it would be lovely to hear from you but if you it's fine if you don't you know because I know you watch my video anyway you know and that's enough for me you know it really is um and just yeah um oh yeah like the like the video smash the like button if you like the video and um I, I promise I'll be back on here I'll keep you updated how I'm getting on and just thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all Thank you so so much. Um, very quickly before I go, um, a seat on my pillow. Look, little socky socks. He's fast asleep on my pillow. Yeah. So I've lost my bed tonight. <laughs> little monkey. I'll see you later, guys. Take care. Bye bye.